Hi, one of the common questions is that what kind of electricity hurts more? AC alternating current or DC direct current? So I'm going to measure the electricity pain level on a human's body, which is myself. But first, let's measure the resistance of the skin on tongue and fingers for reference. So first, let's measure the resistance of dry skin. It's 600K and above. Now if I wet my fingers with my saliva, you can see it's 100K and above. If I measure the resistance of my tongue, it's 10K, 20K and above. So the resistance of the tongue is at least 30 times less than the dry skin and it will feel the electricity at much lower levels and for that reason I'll apply electricity to my tongue. I should tell you, I have accidentally zapped myself in the past many times and I kind of know what I'm dealing with. So you better trust me on this one and don't hurt yourselves. If you really want to know what electricity pain feels like, then take a 9 volt or less battery and put it on your tongue and you'll know. As I mentioned in my other video, a power supply like this one that can generate 70 amps doesn't necessarily hurt you at all if the voltage is set very low. Observe. No! Who the hell set this to 25 volts? Before using a power supply, always make sure its level is set properly. Let's try again, and this time I start from 1 volt, and I'll watch for 4 levels. When I start sensing electricity, when it becomes annoying, when it feels like torture, and when I can't raise it anymore. Here we go. I barely feel it at 1 volt. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, at around 5 volt it's kind of annoying. Uh. Yeah, I would say around 9 volt, it feels like torture. Although if you want to torture someone and make them talk, you probably don't want to hurt their tongue. And besides, you should never torture each other. Always remember, people in the first world countries never torture anybody. They always hire the third world countries to do the job. Unless, of course, if you're married. That's it, I can't really go over 12 volts. I should say that women's pain threshold is higher than men, so they should be able to go to higher levels. Now let's try AC. I've heard that human body has some capacitive properties, meaning that it will let AC through easier than DC. So I expect AC to hurt more at lower levels, and also it will hurt more at higher frequencies. But before that, let me show you something. I've set the signal generator to 5 Hz 7 volt RMS. Let me change the frequency now. Nice. By the way, I can do this too. Now let's reduce the voltage level and increase the frequency all the way to 60 Hz. I shocked my ass sitting on these live wires. Always clean up the lab, otherwise something will bite you in the ass. Okay, AC is starting at 1 volt. I can definitely feel it now. Mm. Yeah, it's quite annoying at three and a half volts. Oh. Ah. It's torturing at four and a half volt. Oh. Ah. Ah. That's it. I can't really go over six and a half volts. So it was confirmed. According to my sensors, the AC hurts at RMS levels half of the DC level. Anything for science. Shake it, shake it.